Hello, in this video we're going to be covering the SQL inner join. It's common practice in database design to normalize your data. One table is not going to have all the data that you need about a certain record. The SQL inner join keyword will return rows when there's at least one match in both tables. Relational databases are often normalized to eliminate duplication of information when objects may contain or may have one too many relationships. In this example, we have a department that may be associated with different employees. We're going to join the two tables to combine information from the department table and the employee table. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we can join records from one table to the other. Right away you should notice that in the sales department we have an employee with an ID of 1000 that is a member of that department. In the employees uh, table we can match that employee ID and it belongs to an employee named John Smith. We can do the same for the other records. As we continue to join our records you notice that in the operations department we have no employees that match the employee ID of 1004. Also in the employees table we have employee ID 1001 for Fred White that belongs to no department in the departments table. When we join these two tables in a SQL query we should have three results back because we've been able to successfully join three records from one table with three records of the other table. Let's go ahead and take a look at the syntax for creating this inner join. A SQL query with an inner join very similar to that of a typical SQL query. You want to select your columns from your first table and you join it to your second table on the columns you specify. In our example we can create the SQL inner join statement by selecting the department name from the departments table, employee name which is emp name from the employees table. We join the two tables on the specific uh, fields called employee ID from the departments table and emp ID from the employees table. You'll notice that the fields do not have to match with regard to their name, they just have to match with regard to their data type. Let's go ahead and run our query in the SQL Management Studio. And here are the results our three departments and their employee names. You'll notice that we have information from two different tables here. We have department name coming from the departments table and we have emp name coming from the employees table. In essence we've created a join between the two tables. That's the end of our video. Thank you for watching.